ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين به ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم so dear brothers we continue the, our book لانك uh, الله with the names of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, it's a very heart touching book that uh, demonstrate the names of Allah in a very special way in a kind of like stories and so on so uh, we, we have already demonstrated three names uh, Ismullah Samad, Ismullah Al-Hafiz, Ismullah Al-Latif and today the fourth name the Ismullah Al-Shafi Al-Shafi so the name Ashafi means in English the healer or who cured the sickness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had the ability to cure you with a reason, or with, with a very weak reason, or very strange reason, or without any reason, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the beginning of this uh, chapter the author uh, tell a story uh, for an uh, American, or I think he's American. Oh, for, he lived in Germany and California, as, as I see. <coughs> he died in California. He's a, a, a person or scientist who is a specialist in uh, nutrition and food, uh, or curing with a, a natural food, natural ways. So, this, this person, when he was a chi child, he has many uh, severe diseases. And uh, doctors uh, <coughs> told his parents that he will die soon. And uh, they, they give, <coughs> they give the, the, this child to their parents to live his last days in an in open air place in you know, between villages and in a country area so and he went to this kind of natural place and uh, while while he's walking with his dad he met with a old person from the farmers of this place and uh, he looked at him and he understood that he is a sick boy and uh, he asked this boy do you want to live or do you want to have a, a healthy life and then the boy just say make his head like this as yes so he advised this boy to eat natural things and the living things like uh, vegetables fresh vegetables and fresh meat and so on and the boy uh, and the, his father listened to this advice and uh, immediately they start to give him diverse food with natural and fresh ingredients and so on and uh, by the time the boy face start to look uh, like red, red, redness with a, a, a sense of uh, health come back to him. <clears throat> and uh, after a while, they went back to the, to the hospital to check up and they found that the, the, the boy has cured completely. SubhanAllah. So, and uh, from that time, this person raised with a, with a word or with a, how can I say he want to f to demonstrate uh, how important is the food and the natural food and he make many series of books his person is Gaylord Hauser and uh, I found them uh, many books for him and he said one of these books died does it he said that but Subhanallah, doctors may judge you that you will die soon, 
But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have other decisions, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, and I think many of us uh, face similar situation or with, with yourself or with even relatives and so on. So if you have any uh, short story, please tell us. I, I, I can start with one story, but you, you can think while I'm telling the story. So when I was a young, when I was a child as well, <laughs> I see. I always uh, suffer from a very strong headache. Start with my wake up until until the end of the day, and uh, every day like this. And uh, my parents took me to many doctors, but they say uh, sinus of the nose, and they give me like sprayers, but nothing do anything with me. Every every day, and. Uh, until I become every day when I wake up I have to do a kind of uh, a movement around my 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 head to I don't know but I sometimes I feel like if I did that when I wake up for a while it it might uh, stop the headache but sometimes it didn't work so every day I wake up I have to do like this Subhanallah, I remember that one time when I was in a secondary school, I was studying with, with my friend uh, in his home. And uh, at that time, his father came back from Hajj. And uh, he gave me a gift, uh, Zamzam water. Subhanallah. I, and he told me that Zamzam water, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said that, that it is a relief from any sickness by the way of Allah and uh, I, I said okay I drink the Zamza water and make dua for this only sickness that I suffer from only this I want this headache to go away so how long yeah by the days I eh, the headache disappear <laughs> I, I, I don't see anymore so how so how it's really amazing. So I, at, at one moment, I feel like this headache will stay with me until the end of my life. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have another decision. Yeah, subhanAllah. So I think uh, if you have a short story about something similar, you can, please. Yes, I like you told us. Yes, I, I told you. I told you my story. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, uh, I, in, in my, when I was uh, 21 uh, at the university, I, I, I felt something in my back uh, in second year in university. And then uh, the situation like, like uh, become more complicated and I, the, the pain is like is, uh, distributed in all my back and even in my uh, how to say in my upper leg, leg and something yeah. like that and in my neck yeah. and it's continue a very long time it's around 10 years maybe uh, uh, until I, I become 30 uh, it was a very strong pain in my back in my neck even some some nights or many nights I I can't sleep until morning. Some days I can't sleep until I am feeling that my body can't resist more. Then I sleep because of that. In the hospital. Yes. Uh, they giving me some doctors giving me uh, like uh, some uh, medicine, like for people taking for cancer or something like that to to stop pain. So pain we don't know. Yeah, painkiller. We don't know what is this. Uh, even right now, I don't know what is it. I, 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 I checked myself hundreds of times for hundreds of doctors in Egypt, very high level of care. No, uh, no specific disease. Subhanallah. Just the pain. Just you know, by making the analysis, nothing in analysis. But Alhamdulillah, uh, now uh, my situation becomes better and better. Subhanallah. 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 <coughs> 
and you don't know what happened. I don't know. Still don't know. As a panel. Still don't know. You look sad somehow. I think uh, like it's not for me, but this just a hajj also this year there was an old man, and one day I was sharing the video that I forwarded to my brother who has a diabetes. Actually, he was got to a diabetes, and he went to say like he just got a critical stage, and he was, he was taking a medicine for for a really long time because he's a bit crazy person. And that person said like that he was on medication for a long time. One day. I forgot there was some herbs he said in Arabic uh, and he said like he took those things, he said like and then things really good to check. Uh, and we went to bed to the doctor and said like what what, what, what what did you do? And he said like no, oh, well I did it this way. And then I said like when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me the majestic and give me the inner way that he wants. Yeah. And I thought like what I really was really Impressive with that, but I really want to you know, send to my brother and say, like, you never know, you have to try That's this right. uh, stuff. So, it was really two herbs. Uh, Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Is that any other comment? So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created, as brother said, a lot of diverse herbs, vegetables, fruits, and so on. and. Uh, he put in this herbs medicine a huge number of molecules. Uh, we, we study in plant biology that uh, these plants in general has hundred thousands or even millions of natural chemicals that every, every chemical that may have a, a cure for something, they, they, every time the drugs come from the plants, subhanAllah. So the author of the book say you may eat something and cure illness without you and you don't know that it this was uh, your medicine that you're looking for subhanallah and uh, as we as i mentioned my story that zamzam water subhanallah allah subhanahu put in this water blessings that can cure uh, healing uh, cure and healing the sickness by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the best water on the face of the earth is the water of Zamzam. It is a kind of food and a healing from sickness. Sahih al -Jama. And subhanAllah, uh, Zamzam, Zamzam water is a kind of uh, food as well. It, it makes you satisfied. You, you, you don't need to eat. SubhanAllah. And uh, many stories uh, I've in the book, but I did not demonstrate, they talk about a person who stay on Zamzam water for a long time without eating. Uh, but he was very powerful, I mean, was very active in his daily uh, activities. Um, so how many persons suffered from a for a long time with sickness and after drinking this blessed water was cured by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Me, it, it was me, subhanAllah. And subhanAllah, this Placed water is really amazing that never stop supply for water until the moment with huge number of bottles go out. SubhanAllah. Yeah. This is another story. Uh, but before I tell the story, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make a cure in dua, uh, ruqya, making ruqya, and charity. And uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Treat your sick with charity. And uh, here is a nice story mentioned in this book that they say, they say that uh, in one hospital in Saudi Arabia, uh, one person comes suddenly to the reception of that hospital while his face <coughs> looks like uh, hilarious or uh, afraid of something. And and he said that his, his son uh, got an accident and he lose his sight, like he can't see. And, uh, and this, they ask, uh, he asked them to please come with me to see my son and check. And uh, one of the uh, 
doctors or so go with him and check the check the uh, the boy and uh, they didn't see uh, a physical uh, bleeding or something he, he was fine but they don't know why he can't see and uh, by the time uh, the father bring a, a man who make rupia for this for this boy and after he finished the rupia he asked the the, the, the person who made the rukia, he asked the father, uh, he reminded him by this hadith, Dawu Mardakum bi or uh, uh, treat uh, your sick with uh, charity. And at this, at this moment, the father put his hand in the pocket and bring out a 500 uh, uh, riyal, Saudi riyal, and give to him, please make charity for me. And uh, subhanAllah, after a few days, the he returned back to the boy to check him and he found that he started to find, to see some lights so light to return back to him. and then when the father saw the person come to visit his son again he gave him 1000 this time please <laughs> subhanallah and he distributed again and subhanallah he returned back to to see as he was originally subhanallah so oh, this is a light return story. So at the end, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala created sickness not to make our life uh, troublesome or uh, uh, why? Why? So because some people say why? Why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give sickness to kids and so on? But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala need us to return back to Him and remember Him. And uh, we also make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask forgiveness and make the Jews uh, feel your weakness and Qiyam uh, layl at night time and uh, ask Allah as Shafi, the healer subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, he said, nobody can cure you without his will and no medicine can cure you without his will subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is a story of a rich person. <laughs> it's also uh, present in the in this book that one person of Saudi Arabia he he has a kidney failure, and uh, he uh, he was very rich, and his his uh, uh, son and daughter take him to Egypt. So there was a one don donator uh, of his kidney. So they went, back, they went to Egypt to make a, a, a surgery and a transplant kidney from uh, one donator. And uh, this old, old rich man uh, asked the, uh, the doctors, I want to see the donator, I want to see him. Uh, she was a kid and uh, he asked her, why you want to donate your kidney? And uh, he said, uh, I want to support my family and uh, you will give a, lo a lot of money for, for that. And SubhanAllah, this person uh, just think for a while and, and uh, he said, I canceled this surgery, I, I don't want. And uh, he asked their, their family or their kids to give the money for, the, for this uh, kid. And uh, they returned, uh, their family was very angry because everything was settled and uh, so they returned back to Saudi Arabia and uh, subhanAllah they said that uh, after a few time they, the doctors make a checkup and they found his kidney start working again subhanAllah yeah subhanAllah so yeah that's how life is complicated subhanAllah so benefits of sickness, sickness seems to be very hard and painful, but subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in, in it many secrets. So soften your heart, increase your sense of feeling toward others, feel others, increase your humble and break your ego and remind you about death and forgiving your sins and test your patience and satisfaction, rebel, and 
make you make sincere returns on those patterns. So that's all. Uh, at the end of this meeting, we make dua that oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make shifa and uh, give the 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 ni'mah or the uh, blessing of shifa to every sick person uh, with, the, with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, every person who suffered from sickness for a long time may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him the blessing of uh, complete healing Allahumma Jazakumullah khairan Subhanakallah Muhammadik Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik Assalamu alaykum